Question two, part B, asks you to draw a box and whisker diagram on the grid below, which I have here, that represents the vitamin C content in milligrams for this data sample of 120 oranges. Now the key to a box and whisker diagram is there are five important points, which I've illustrated in green down below. So the minimum value, the lower quartile, or otherwise known as Q1, the median, the upper quartile, otherwise known as Q3, and the max. And as long as you have those five key pieces of information, drawing the box and whisker diagram is actually pretty easy. Now we have these five pieces of information. Three of them we found out in part A, so our median is 32.5. I'll just put a star next to all these five important pieces. So median here, lower quartile, upper quartile, it's Q3, and then we are given in the question our min and max. Okay, and then the way that I then translate that into a box and whisker diagram, I just draw five small vertical lines on the grid, starting from the left, so min and working towards the right, the max. So I'll start with that, min is 30.1, so that sits roughly, so this is 30, 31, now anywhere on the uh, on the grid is fine, so right about there. Next is the lower quartile, Q1, which is 31.9, so that's going to be about there. Median, 32.5. And then upper quartile, Q3, 33.1. Is 33.1 we're nearly there and then max is 35.0 which is all the way over here and now that we have our five um, vert small vertical lines we can then just draw a box uh, between the second and fourth and then we just connect up the min and the max and there we have it, a very nice looking box and whisker plot. And that is the answer to part B of question two.